everybody, I'm Olivia, and this is a quick Canva tip. Did you guys love that? I'm obsessed. Welcome to the new, new, this is my new intro. I uh, hope you love it. Here's the new logo. I'm covering myself up. I've got celebrations all over my thing. Here is the new logo for quick Canva tips. Uh, the reasoning is, of course, I did rebrand. If you did not see that, um, sign up for the newsletter, sign up for... Um, uh, my Instagram, you don't sign up, you subscribe. But Let's Go Studio has rebranded into Bold August Design Studio for lots of reasons. I'm not going to go into it on this in particular. Uh, there's a whole blog post about it, but I'm really, really, really excited. It is sharper, cleaner, more my brand values, has a lot of really great stuff. So the Canva Tip Weekly into quick Canva tips, uh, you might be able to guess. But I had the realization this week that my life was so centered around my business instead of my business trying to fit my life. I have a really great thriving design studio and the Canva tips are amazing. And I do in the future, I have a goal of um, selling courses, doing all these great things, educating, doing more on TikTok, doing more on Instagram. But for right now, I clearly wasn't honoring weekly. I was not able to get to that weekly level. I'm still going to commit to it. I am going to do my darndest to get quick tips to you guys in your inboxes every Monday. Um, but my business fits my life and my life doesn't fit my business. So I have to make sure that I'm honoring the, the ebbs and flows of life. Um, I'm looking into condos in the Atlanta area. I've got a lot going on otherwise. I'm doing some speaking events, some traveling. So it just didn't make sense to... Um, have a whole brand around Canva Tip Weekly. So here we are at Quick Canva Tips. I'm going to commit to it weekly, but I'm also going to be um, pushing it over to Instagram and TikTok a lot better also. And I'm gonna keep the humor because come on, aren't you here? Because I'm hilarious. <laughs> well, today I'm gonna be going over um, actually a real, a real template. Um, specifically this one. Let's go studio is now boom, 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 boom. Yay, yay, yay. Amazing. Awesome. Video, all the greats. Reels are obviously doing really, really, <laughs> really well um, on Instagram. So if you're looking for an Instagram strategy, you can kind of see um, my reels get thousands of views and bring me lots of great followers. So 3,000, 4,000, 1,000. I don't know why these don't do as well. Um, really, you can see if my face is at the camera, it does a lot better, but we still, you know, 600 views is still better than zero views. So I'm going to be providing a real template for you guys today and showing you how to do it. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to remove all of this stuff because now it's getting annoying. Okay. It was fun. All right, brand real template. So first of all, you're gonna see, I'm gonna start adding some covers to my templates so that you can easily identify them in your Canva account. Here we are, delete me before saving. You're gonna see that anytime you do a template, you have to consider, or anytime you use a template, you have to consider where that template goes, whether it's a print piece, which means you have to consider CMYK versus RGB, or it's an online piece, which in that case, you have to consider where all the junk's gonna go. And in this case, the junk is the heart, the comment, the send paper airplane, all of this great stuff, plus the your reels at the top and how the dark fades down. You can see that I have placed these guides in this template for you. You'll go to file, view settings, you'll move me out of the way, file, view settings, show rulers and guides. You can also add guides, clear guides, and lock guides. So I'm going to lock these guides. So now I cannot touch them or accidentally move them around. Guides are so essential to ensuring that your content's not cut off, that you're keeping a nice grid. Um, all of this amazing stuff you can see. Um, you can also do margins and print bleed. That's for another day for another print video. But for now, here we are. You can also clear and add. Great call. So right here, you can see, I really want you to delete this before um, you actually export this reel. So you would uh, click on the three dots right here and then delete page. Or I like to also come down here and click on this little drawer and click down because I prefer seeing my stuff like this. this. This just works for my brain a little bit better, but then you can always pop the drawer back up and then you're able to go back and forth between the sort of video editing and looking at it. 
So here you would just delete this file first. And if you delete it, it does keep your guides in the entire rest of the document. So what I've done here is given you um, a logo color swapper, which is always really fun. So what you will do is pop your logo in. It's already time 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, which is right. And then you can do your logo here or a cool catchphrase or something. And I've already got, if you do a catchphrase, uh, or like design, 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 it's already on baseline. If you delete these and add your logo in a row, I'm going to show that actually. So I'm going to duplicate this slide. I'm going to delete all of this. And now I'm going to go over to the brand hub and add in my logo. Uh, if you're, if you have an SVG or vector logo, don't forget, you can actually double click to crop it, which is kind of a nice little tip. Double click to crop. Then I'm going to hold down my Alt key on my computer and shift, and I'm going to just nicely copy these down. That is Alt and shift. Shift prevents it from moving around, and Alt is the, um, Alt. Am I saying that weird? Alt. Uh, Alt is the duplicator. I'm going to highlight all of these and click animate. And there's lots of really great animations in Canva. I'm a super fan. If you want it to be more gentle, maybe you have a more gentle brand fade. Canva is being so smart. Thank you, Canva. Thank you to the creation uh, people over at Canva, because you're going to see here that it automatically knows to go from top to bottom. Chef's kiss. Thank you so much. We can also click baseline, that's what I like, or you can try all kind of stuff. Maybe you want it to come from this way. Maybe you want it to go boom, 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 boom. Tinker around, what's your jam? What flavor of jam do you like? I mean, I wouldn't go this crazy. Let's not give anyone, you know, a heart attack, but that's kind of cool, right? Oh, that one's fancy. So come over here and have a ball with those effects. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to delete it because for now, at least has the template in. Then we're going to do the same thing. I love a color palette show off with some fun names. I've tried to make sure I have the font big enough where you can also read um, the <laughs> the text. And Periwinkle is like one of the longest things I could think of. So hopefully all of your long color names will fit. I'm going to highlight all of these. And again, I'm going to click anime. And I personally like baseline. I don't know why these are all fading together, actually. Do I have them grouped? No. Huh, that's strange. Maybe if I do them individually, baseline. It's probably because they're grouped. Grouping stuff does weird stuff. Yeah. You have to highlight the whole group. Baseline. And animate baseline. Oh, they went together. Well, what can you do? I'm pretty sure that this one's doing this because it's... Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I like this little... So that's neat. So those are some fun effects you can do. Now, you're going to notice that to do a color swap, there's not an animation for that. So the way I've achieved animation in this way is to have separate frames. So I've got 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this will create the color swap effect. Now, these I have the animations and the things on the page because Canva is doing the animation work for me. Thank you, Canva. Uh, and then let's take a little peek about how that goes. Um, first, I'm going to make sure that this is only 0.5 seconds. And then I'm going to make sure that this is 0.5 seconds so it doesn't bug all of us. And boom, 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 boom. Cool, 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 cool. Way too long. Oh, cute. All right, great. So all of that is looking really great. Um, the reason why this is cut off is because I think it's because it's a weird font. I'm not really sure why it's cutting off on animation. Your results may vary. Next up, this is a really popular trend and it's so easy to get some good stuff on there. It really, really is. I recommend getting some B-roll, which is going to be to record yourself doing stuff. I myself had my amazing boyfriend, shout out, come to my last photo shoot and hold up the camera and he recorded 15 to 30 second clips of me the entire time. That gave me a whole library of me doing things for the background and that is exactly what this one is right here. This is just a B-roll of me posing in front of the camera so that I can use it for 
my Instagram. Incredible, great idea. If you don't have an incredible, amazing boyfriend, again, shout out to him, uh, then set up a camera and do some typing. Maybe set up a camera in your kitchen as you're making your coffee. Give yourself that stock video. I promise it sounds more intimidating than it is, but it will go a super long way. But what I've done is I've given you five different video options. We cannot forget accessibility. I know it's so fun. I, I too would love to have this video be at 100%, but you cannot read this text. You might be able to, my mom won't be able to, and my mom would also love to buy your services. So make sure you're being accessible for everybody. You can see here in this one with this funny one that I did, I do have a black overlay that I did in Instagram. So obviously this is kind of like a faded out video and my text is really big. I'm going to critique myself and say I probably could have made it even darker or added a gradient, and that is on me. I wish I had made the contrast a little bit bigger, but you guys are going to do better than me. You're going to make sure your stuff is really high contrast. Uh, so I found water, clouds, any of that is great, and all of that is in Canva. Try clouds, try water, try a texture that makes sense for your brand. All of these are really, really cool. Um, some of these, if you're more adventure maybe you, I don't know, but Canva video I find to be really challenging. I did find this cute one of people writing, some hands writing, which I don't know, are people going to think it's your hands? Maybe, you know. Also, shadows. Shadows do so well. Look at that. Shadows. And there's tons of them in Canva. So we can type in shadows. There's lots and lots and lots of cool shadow videos. Obviously, this one is really dark, but you know what we're going to do. We're going to take, we're going to go up here to transparency and take it all the way down to like a 18. Look at that. She's gorgeous. With some text, that would be really, really nice. Now you're going to see when I added this video, look at what it did down here. It changed it to 14 seconds. Oh my gosh. It's automatically going to crop for the whole video. All you're going to do is come down here. It's like a basic editor that you're going to see for video. And you're just going to drag this to the seconds that you want. So if you use all the rest of this, that's great. If you don't, you could maybe just do a whole 15 second video. And then you can upload it to Instagram or TikTok, honestly, and choose music from there. I also have this one of coffee pouring. And then there's one that's a gradient. So you might try coming over to videos and doing your brand color plus gradient because there's some cool stuff in here as well like these are really cool i might actually use these for my brand this like pink and cool that's neat Ooh, look at this one. Oh my goodness gracious let's see what blue gradient does mm, i don't love that but these are cool whoever did these uh, my hat off to you thank you for giving us great stock stuff so that works perfectly. The last tip I have for you guys is uh, to search for some vertical stock. Um, I myself use Paxia. I will put my Paxia.com. I will put my referral link in this YouTube. I do pay the big bucks because I pay for the uh, business license, which allows me to then use that for clients. So if you are a client of mine, I'll grab you some stock video. Um, but Paxia has aesthetic and trendy vertical video um, that is a monthly cost. So if you do a lot of reels, if you need to do a lot of um, uh, education, they have a lot of really cool stuff that is like chic um, in libraries. I have all these cool flower ones already stuff like this. It's just really, really awesome. And then there's like space. Ooh, gorgeous. Now, if you're like Olivia, I, I have zero dollars. Uh, we're trying our best. Head, head on over to Pexels. Pexels also has vertical video that is just astoundingly good. So if we're going to do like maybe coffee, let's come check this out. And they have 7,000 video. And some of them are going to be vertical. Like look at how gorgeous this one is. You can hover to see it play, I believe. Yep. Are you kidding me? With some black text and your logo on top of it? Come on. Come on. Tons of great stuff. So this is where your brand adjectives and your brand characteristics are going to come into play big time. You're going to need to think about what... It, oh my gosh. Oh. That was distracting. 
it's incredible. If you can use this, please tag me in it because I would just love to see how a brand could use this. Maybe I'll use it. I don't know. Uh, you need brand adjectives. So I use terrazzo, flowers, orange, bright, uh, stationary. I, I, I'm a designer, so I need to show computers. Let's see like what computers they have, right, to open and close. You might be a social media person and you need to... Um, show like phones or strategy or I have a lot of dog trainer clients, my therapy clients, you guys, plants, shadows, uh, a cozy blanket, um, any of that or any anybody writing is a really good one. I don't love any of these computer ones, but you can see, uh, let's do flowers. Whoops. Flowers is a great one. Oh, pretty. Oh my gosh. Not exactly vertical, but I could totally see where you could crop it perfectly. These are great. You just start downloading some. For Look at this. Poppies, which is part of my rebrand because it's the August flower. Incredible. I should download this right now, and I will add it to my library. This one's also really gorgeous. Oh, I don't love that pan effect, though. I'd rather it be like a live feed of flowers. So come to Pexels for free stuff. Invest in something like Paxia, or you can do the digging through Canva to start getting some of that vertical video in. But that is how I did my brand announcement reel. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking it out. Quick Canva tips, meet from Olivia, brought to you by Bold August Design Studio, and I'll see you guys next week. I'm